Welcome to the series of MATLAB tutorials and in this video we are going to learn about how to design functions in MATLAB. If you like this video, subscribe me on this channel and connect me on LinkedIn and endorse me for MATLAB. Now this we have started MATLAB, this is the command window of MATLAB. Now to start and design a function, we need to start an M file. We will go into file new function. So this will open up a function argument where function format is already predefined. In a function format, we need to give function space output arguments equal to name of the function and in small brackets input arguments. Now let's say for a simple function, we want to design a function of simple calculator which can give designing a simple calculator to work on two numbers now put this in comment okay now in simple calculator you want three output some addition and some product and division so let's give three variables as an input so as an output and uh, two variables as an input And let the name of the function you want to put to be something like simple cal c now it's as simple as that what we need to do is just relate the output variables and the input variables for example s equals to a plus b p equals to a into b d equals to a divided by b that's it we need to save the the file with the name of the function itself in the MATLAB library. We saved it. Now we again go to go back to command window and we can utilize this particular function simple cal c in brackets we can give two arguments that the argument will be 5 comma 89 something what do you want to do and here's the answer spd s is sum is 94 p is 445 and division is 0 0.0562 so this is how we have designed a function let's design another function let's go to file let's go to file new and function now let's say we want to design a function which can plot a circle of a certain radius now let's say the name of the function to be circle and we want to draw a circle of radius r we'll be giving r as an input argument into the circle function now over here let's take a time domain t equals to 0 to the spacing of 0 0.01 to 2 pi and then let's define a function x equals to sine of t multiplied by r similarly y equals to r multiplied by cosine of t and the last is plot x comma y now this is how our function is designed now we'll save it with the same name circle into the matlab directory Now for using it, what you need to do is go here, circle and in that we can give the radius of circle, for example circle 8, so it will plot a circle of radius 8, this is how it is. Now let's say we want to design a particular function of, let's let's design a, particular, so a bit complex function. Okay, now we want to design a function which can take a matrix, a variable in which a matrix is stored as an input argument and in output argument it can give the count of a particular number, I mean how many of elements are greater than a particular number. Let's say we want to design a function called count 10, a function which can count the number of elements which are greater than 10 in a particular matrix. Now let's take input argument, a variable in which a matrix is being stored. In output, we will only give 
the value of the variable count. Now, let's calculate first the size of the matrix which can be given because it will be dynamic. So let's keep it size of x. Now, for finding the total number of elements, we'll multiply r and c. So r stands for row and c stands for column. So for k, for example, if a matrix is having three rows and four columns, it will have three into four on total of twelve elements. So k will be twelve in that particular case. Now, we'll initialize the count equals to zero, four, n equals to zero to k. For n equals to zero to k, sorry, it would be one to k because there might not be, there will not be zeroth element in case. Then if x n is greater than ten, count equals count plus one. We'll end the if loop and then end the for loop, and this is how it is. Now we need to save it with the name count ten into the MATLAB directory. Then we can use it in command window. For example, let's take a matrix x equals to rand i, a matrix in which maximum value is uh, something related to fifteen, and a matrix of size three comma four. So let's let's see what x is. This is our x. And if we want to find the number of elements which are greater than ten, then what we can do is count. We can use our pre-designed function count ten, user-defined function count ten, and bracket x. They can be any of the variable. It's not necessary. We can take x only. Sorry. What you need to do is yeah, this is it. Answer is six. Now this is how it is. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, for further tutorials, wait.